Whether the weather has you staying inside or you're ready to get outside, Shannon Bryan with FitMaine.com has some advice. May is here. I think we're all ready to get out, Shannon. Is there any dissenting opinion? No. My vote is for out. Definitely out. 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 We all want to be out. Let's start with yoga at Bug Light in Southport, and that'll get people out on Sunday. What's this event about? Yeah, well, with the warmer weather means we want to kind of do everything outside, right? And that includes our working out. And I have no doubt this spring and summer we're going to be talking about lots of outdoor workouts. But this one's particularly neat, and it starts this weekend. It's yoga at Bug Light Park in South Portland. Of course, it's an awesome place to hang out no matter what you're doing. Bring your dog and your frisbee and whatever. Um, but Kelly Rich le re leads yoga there. This weekend is the kind of the launching of the season. If you can't make it this weekend, she's gonna be doing it all spring and summer long, multiple days a week, but I highly encourage you to check it out. Look at that, you can do yoga and the feet in the grass, sky overhead, yeah. boats ah. passing, it's just For lovely. People who aren't familiar, you got the city of Portland on one side, Fort Gorgeous out on other, the islands of Casco Bay, marvelous setting. Stupendous view. Okay, for those who have always wanted to run away and join the circus, we've got flying trapeze, aerials, go to circus school. Um, I want to do all those things, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm very excited about this event. I will be at this event with the Salam Circus um, on Sunday. It's a Circus 101, so this is like for beginners who have maybe you've seen a performer, have you seen some videos and you thought, hey, trapeze, aerial silks, that stuff looks like a lot of fun, and I'm telling you, it is. Now, of course, to be a professional it takes lots of training and stuff, but there's still opportunities for those of us who are novices, beginners, to learn a few things, and that's exactly what this workshop on Sunday will be doing. So, you never been on a tra trapeze before? Cool, come on out, we'll get on one, we'll have some fun in the process. Here's a great fundraiser that's going on Sunday afternoon at Greeley High School in Cumberland. It is the Safe Passage Main 5K and Fiesta. Yes, well, it is Cinco de Mayo, of course. Mm -hmm. And so this event, which has been happening annually for over a decade, I believe, benefits Safe Passage, as you mentioned. But it's a 5K, which, of course, you can walk or run it. Starts and ends at uh, Greeley High School in Cumberland. And then afterwards, you can head inside for some live music from Prebo Cubano. And there's going to be a nacho bar. <laughs> um, they're dancing and music and food and lots of festivities for the kids as well. So you get to do the run and then do some Cinco de Mayo celebrating afterwards. I love the way you put the twist on nacho bar. Right. Nacho. Right. We can see where your the most exciting wise. part. I mean, there's nachos and then there's nachos. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I get you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Another fundraiser. This one for the American Folk Festival, a huge event in Bangor. We've got the ban Color Bangor on the waterfront. Absolutely, as you mentioned, it's a fundraiser for the American Folk Festival, which is a festival that's happening in August. But this is this fundraiser is all about the running around, walking with friends, hanging out, and getting splattered with color. <laughs> um, it's a 5K, and as you can see from these folks, it's a ton of fun outdoors. Um, you'll walk or run, get splattered with the color, but also this year, if you're like, hey, 5K, that's a little intense for me, can't someone just throw some color on me and I don't have to go very far? Yes, yes, that can happen. This year, they're actually gonna do a color shortcut so you don't have to go nearly as far. I think it's less than half a mile, and you can just kind of play, play in the color if you'd like. So that's happening on Saturday the 11th. Sunday the 12th is Mother's Day. The Portland Sea Dogs have their Mother's Day 5K happening at Hadlock Field. Yeah, take your mom to do whatever it is she wants to do that day, but if she likes to run or you're a mom and you like to run, this is a great event. Family friendly, of course. People turn out in droves to do this annual event. Starts at Hadlock Field, and then uh, you can walk or run. It's a flat course, which I think is worth noting because Maine's not known for being flat. Um, and then afterwards, you know, it heads into Hadlock Field where you get to end at the third baseline in front of the dugout like a champ, and then maybe go take your mom out and do something special. Go get brunch after that. Brunch yeah. after that. Yeah. Get mom get her picture taken with Slugger, too. Oh, yeah. It's, well, it's worth noting that Slugger and Slugger's mom lead the charge on this race, so. Aww. Didn't know that Slugger had a mom. <laughs> of course he did. I wasn't, aware, wasn't <laughs> sure where Slugger had emerged from, but I didn't realize Slugger had a mom. It's all part of the Slugger folklore, <laughs> I think. It's a conversation <laughs> for another day, Rob. <laughs> Shannon Bryan, fitmain.com. Thanks so much for coming in. You can find the full list in the 207 section of our website and we will be right back.